map and just wiped out each lance as we came into them. Uh, the second time we played them, they rushed into us like we expected, and they didn't focus. They just kind of ran through us, and we turned around and shot them in the back as they kept running. And they turned around and didn't focus on any one of us. They just kind of hit whoever was nearest. It was... I didn't get it. Eh, because they were just practicing. Guess the first... Uh, the first drop was the light tonnage. They were doing exactly the same thing, like going to cap and circle around the map. I'm thinking their idea was to get the our land lands to chase. And once we got a bit isolated, they would swarm us, kill one, two, or all of us, and then they'd be free to cap afterwards. But that would only work if the map was bigger. We dropped on like Forest Colony, which Air was too good for online. them. Artillery strike online. Second uh, drop, it was interesting. They dropped, uh, it was the medium tonnage. They had six cataphracts slash dagger bags and whatnot with twin Gauss rifle. How's the middle laser? Clear. Target and they ran the capping game. Target they had acquired. their, uh, it was on River City. Their Gauss rifle mechs were hanging way back and pinned down or sniping mechs because we only had PPC range. So their lights just went and capped their thing where their heavy unit with Gauss went to cap like the opposite side of the map. So yeah, I tell our guys don't bother trying to play the cap game because it's not not viable. New target Just acquired. murder ball, kill him. We could the drop decks that we've been running, we couldn't us, we can't play a cap game. Yeah, it's the same for us. But I think they're trying to make a specific uh, counter strategy play to well the usual brawling or sniping rules. Pinning us I think down. Capping. They may have spent idea. a lot of time around the 007 team because when we got them in our match, I know. we, yeah, we did not have the right mechs for that. We weren't, we were expecting them to be brawlers, and I told everyone we don't want to take this drop deck. If we do take this drop deck, we better hope that we get Tourmaline or uh, Alpine because those are the only maps this drop deck is going to do good in in this kind of drop. And. Well, you, I'm sure you watched the videos. It was it was horrible. I did that at the time, actually. Yeah, they they played a proper brawling cap game. Enemy I was really impressed captured. with how well they played that. Oh, oh, seven. Yeah. Yeah, when they played against uh, yeah, I I think it ended like uh, three zero or something. Target acquired. Yes, but it the was games a decided. Were closer, right? uh, they were. A couple of them were close. Enemy base one of them, captured. not so much. New target acquired. Um, we had one where we actually had more kills than them, but they outcapped us because of the way that they were playing. Uh, they were so much faster than we were. We were running, you know, standard jump sniper meta builds, and they were running extremely fast brawlers. I think their minimum speed was like 83 kph, so they were able to outrun us, keep us outcapped. Um, there was one game where they, I think we got like two kills because we thought we had them speed up. We charged into their center line, expecting them to be five mechs there. We had the whole team. They well, you. No. What we thought was a, the other half of their team was actually just one Jenna running around Enemy with the cap accelerator. And <laughs> we charged through a choke point, saw the whole team there, and we were like, oh, fuck. They... It didn't last long. <laughs> yeah. It well, was just a very bad day best, overall. Target more best bet would be to do heavy units to do and have the light lines go in between both, depending on where they're swarming. At least control the true point cap. And try to slowly box them in the corner or part of the map. Target. Yeah, the thing that hurts is our drop deck. We just didn't have to drop deck for that round of Eric. Merrick, we it's different. 
Target. Yeah, we saw an opportunity to play our jump sniper build because all you know, we don't have the restrictions that we usually have to worry about because it was just no ECM. Oh, we don't run ECM that much. So, all right, 800 tons, let's run our standard drop deck. You know, four 35 tonners, four cataphracts, four highlanders. Target. Okay. Not it works well idea. if you can, like, hold the tree point, uh, tree point pressure. Yeah, see, that was the problem. We were so much slower than them that we couldn't do it. Yeah, uh, and Merrick, the Lightlands, whoever it is leading it on your team, He's gonna have a Target lot of acquired. pressure. That's most of the plays in Merrick Civil War compared to Assault and Skirmish, they come from the Lightlands. New target acquired. Which is interesting per se. What BSK team are you on, Phil? Uh I am part of Warden Company, but I am not a former Templar. New oh, target okay. acquired. Are you, were you part of just BSK or? Uh, no. <laughs> when Han was given the offer to take the Templars over to BSK, um, I was just talking with him about it because me and Han, before he was in Templar, we were in a group together as family members called Templar Exodus. Which we were in a group, we left them and formed our own with some other guys. Long story there. But uh, Templar Exodus split up when our primary uh, unit leader had to leave the game. Happened there, but uh, half of us went to Blackburn's Raiders, the other half to Templars. I didn't want to go to Templars because I don't do PG 13 groups. I swear way too much for that crap. <laughs> but, um, had to kill a Centurion. That Raven's probably sorry to be alive at this point. But uh, anyway, when Han got the off the split, he noticed that I was no longer in a group because right at the third person came out, which everyone in BBR was playing with me. So I just kind of played with these guys and those guys, just kind of hopped around a lot. And uh, he asked me if I wanted to join up, and I said, sure. He said they were needing good pilots who could pilot just about anything and do well in them and that's so kind of the way I feel. Because I'm good at everything. Oh, I see, I see.